Hi, this is Al, and I am here to uh, kind of give you a rundown uh, of a diagram that I put together because I get a lot of questions about how to convert a 24 volt uh, turbine into 4 volts. Uh, this applies particularly to the 1 kilowatt Winmax turbine from uh, Winmax, but it certainly will apply to any one of our turbines. Um, essentially, you don't have to do anything other than not use the charge controller they supply. Uh, what you do is you do get a brick rectifier for, from, uh, for an alternator, which you can get in any park store. You can get it off eBay or you can get it from the Coleman Air Fault. Uh, at least 75 amps or higher. Uh, I prefer you know, 100 to 120 amps, which is what mine is. Um, and all you have to do is get a UV rated extension cord, three wire, 10 gauge. Uh, this connects uh, the ends of the three wires, connects to uh, the wind max turbine uh, through a connector that they have that has strain relief and relief and everything. From there, it goes to the bridge rectifier. Uh, there's some studs in the front with nuts. You just connect them there. It doesn't matter how you connect them. There is no specific order you have to maintain. The bridge rectifier then changes that uh, voltage into uh, the wild AC voltage into DC voltage. And that DC voltage. Uh, the positive is on the uh, lower right hand corner of that uh, rectifier and the negative on the top left hand corner although you want to verify that with a meter. Um, I take no responsibility for any of the content in this drawing or this video. Uh, you are at your own risk if you follow any of, uh, of these uh, diagrams and uh, uh, designs. Um, you are supposed to know what you do and if you don't check with an electrician. Uh, everything that you do or uh, needs to be done for an electrician and needs to be done through uh, a through the electrical code. Uh, at any rate, from the rectifier you want to go through a 100 amp breaker. From the 100 amp breaker uh, you go to the Coleman Air uh, Charge Controller. And that charge controller, all it does really is uh, monitor the voltage of the battery back and when it gets to you know, 14.2, 14.4 volts, it will dump the excess voltage to this dump load, which I also got from Coleman Air. They actually, if you go to their Coleman Air website, they have some very good products. They have many different models of charge controllers for uh, different uh, size turbines, uh, as well as dump loads. Uh, I just happen to have this 150 watt dump load, and I have actually a, an 80 amp uh, charge controller. Because in their particular case, they don't really control the voltage going to the batteries. All they do is monitor. When it gets to a certain level, they dump out, but there is no regulation or anything like that or any control that they exercise over the voltage going from the turbine to the batteries. It's just a monitoring circuit and allows uh, to make or break the circuit for the dump to keep the batteries at a regular or at a steady uh, charge level, uh, avoiding uh, you know them from becoming overcharged. Uh, you can change, uh, you can check all of the, the wire sizes that need to go from the bridge rectifier through the uh, charge controller out to the dump load and to the batteries and to the uh, DC, dis DC disconnect as well as the uh, inverter. Uh, there are several places on the internet that you can go and check the uh, DC wire charts as well as DC wire uh, calculators and it will show you what size wire you need to use for a given length of wire that you need to run in a on a given using a given amperage load um, yeah, and a given uh, circuit voltage. So uh, that is pretty easy to to look up actually. Uh, the uh, the one thing that you want to make sure is that once you go through the um, uh, the controller, uh, go through a 200 amp breaker before you go to the batteries because you can isolate the power from the turbine to the batteries as well as uh, you know, make sure that you don't have any any problems uh, along the way. Um, so I use that 200 amp uh, breaker uh, in place uh, to keep myself out of trouble here. I also have a breaker in here uh, on the other side of the battery, which is also a DC disconnect, uh, but it's a fusible one. And from there, I go 12 volts to my pure sign wave inverter, and from the pure sign wave inverter to a manual transfer switch. The manual transfer switch has uh, actually a series of circuits that you can wire your house to, and each one has a uh, breaker uh, of different uh, amperages, uh, 15 and 20 amps and even 30 amps, 
and a three position selector. So you can choose whether you want that circuit to be on wind power or green power, or do you want it to be on your electrical utilities power. Um, if obviously, if you're in a cabin, if you're in a remote facility, uh, you know you're gonna probably uh, not have any electrical power other than what you generate locally, and then uh, you know you don't have to worry about it. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at the batteries for a second. This is different than, than the 24 volt circuit that I showed earlier. Same 100 uh, reserve capacity batteries, except now I have all four of them connected in parallel. Well, how do you know? Well, you know because you simply tie all of your negatives together. So from negative to negative to negative to negative, and all the positives together. So positive to positive to positive to positive. That gives me 12 volts. The voltage doesn't increase across this end and this end. However, it adds the capacity of each battery. So if each battery was a 12 volt, 100 reserve uh, minute capacity, I would have 100 reserve minutes plus 100 is 200 plus another 100 is 300 plus another 100 is 400. So now I have a 400 reserve minute capacity. What does that mean? Well, the way batteries are rated, they're rated on a 25 amp uh, draw. So that means that I can draw 25 amps out of this set of four batteries, in my example, for 400 minutes, which is quite a bit of time. Uh, so if you get batteries that are rated at 200 or 250 minutes each, then you can do the math. If you've got 250 reserve capacity batteries, that's a thousand minutes of reserve capacity at using a 25 amp draw. So that's how this uh, this whole thing works. Um, I will, uh, in addition to this, I will post another video showing you the same kind of diagram, but using a grid tie inverter and how that changes things uh, uh, in this kind of uh, uh, settings. Um, and I will also show you one that shows how to connect the solar panels, and then another one that shows you how to connect both the, both the solar panels and the wind power together on the same circuit. So when you don't have wind, you have you have sun, and when you don't have sun, you usually have wind. Uh, you you'll find out that in the winter time, you'll have really great winds, but very little sunshine. And in the summertime, you have full winds. The great sunshine for a very long periods of time. So, anyways, uh, that's really uh, what I had for you guys. I hope that this answers uh, the questions that everybody's been sending me. Uh, if not, feel free to comment. Uh, God bless. Take care, and I hope uh, all of your projects come along great. Thank you.